Welcome to Levant TV Headlines. U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder expressed great concern about the influx of around 7,000 Europeans and Americans into Syria and the potential impact they could have back home. Israel kept up its punishing raids on Gaza while holding off from a threatened ground attack as the world intensified efforts to broker a truce. According to Lebanese security sources, seven Hezbollah fighters and 32 Syrian rebels died in fierce clashes on the Syrian-Lebanese border. And in Egypt, three civilians were killed and 22 were injured when a rocket slammed into the rest of Sinai Peninsula. In a telephone call with UN Chief Ban Ki-moon, Jordan's King Abdullah II urged Israel to stop targeting civilians in its deadly offensive against the Gaza Strip. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif says important headway has been made in the talks on Iran's nuclear energy program, however negotiations have yet to be a positive results. Following a recent series of missile tests, North Korea fired 100 artillery shells into the sea in a live fire drill near the eastern maritime border with South Korea. An artillery shell from Ukraine has hit a private house in the Rostov region of Russia, killing a citizen and leaving two injured. The Russian Foreign Ministry promises heavy consequences. Former Ukraine President Viktor Yanukovych has filed a suit with EU's top court against sanctions Brussels has imposed on him and his two sons. That was it. To read more, please visit our website levant.tv. Thanks for watching our news bulletin and bye for now.